Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. We are at the new house. It is actually Halloween day, which is exciting because it's gonna be my first time doing trick-or-treating as like a homeowner. And I believe that there's a bunch of kids in our neighborhood. So hopefully we have a good turnout. We actually bought like two giant candy bags because if they're left with me and Ryan, we will do some damage and that would not be good. We're starting off this vlog with a very exciting project. I'm finally going to be testing out some paint samples for the kitchen cabinets. I also don't think I ever mentioned what color of the walls we went with and it is Swiss coffee in Gildan or Glidden. I think that's the brand of the paint. And I am so happy we went with this. It's kind of like a warmer white, especially when the sun hits it, it kind of just brings out those warmer tones. As you can tell behind me, our cabinets are currently gray. They are from Ikea and it sucks because I saw what model they were and they literally come in a white. But they just have to choose the gray. So we're fixing it and I'm not even going with, you know, just white. We're gonna try to go for this like off white creamy color. I've been seeing it all over Pinterest and I'm obsessed with it. And especially with our like warmer white walls, I think it'll look really good. But of course, we're gonna try and test it out before we like paint all of them. And paint samples are like $7 each, which is kind of annoying because I don't even need this much paint. I just literally need like maybe an eighth of it to like see if I want to do it. Cause you know, paint samples that you get in the Home Depot just on the paper can sometimes be a lot different than actual you know paint at home so i just want to make sure i'm going to love it and i don't want any regrets we have three samples I already sanded it down we actually found this sample cabinet thing in the garage and it's coming in clutch right now also i'm not like spray gunning it just because i just really need to see the color and i don't really care about the texture so i'm just gonna use these little spongy things I really feel like all these paints are going to look so similar to you guys because I mean, I feel like I wouldn't be able to tell between these two if I stood far enough back. I don't even know if there is a really big difference. I highly recommend if you are painting, definitely get the samples because I was gonna go with one color for the walls and then Mimo was like, you should probably get a sample of a couple. And we decided to go with one that I didn't think I was gonna like. So definitely always get samples, even though they're $7, it could save you a lot of money in the end. So this one is, um polished pearl and i remember ryan really liking this one it's just like looking really similar to that one and that is the color of our walls which would be fine you know to do the same color but i kind of want something more creamy and a little bit darker so the next one is going to be cottage white i think this might be the darkest out of all of them this literally looks exactly like that one too <laughs> my god how am I gonna decide? <laughs> this is what it looks like when it's all dried. I know you guys cannot tell <laughs> pretty much at all on the camera, but I do think I like the middle one the best. This one's too yellow, this one's too peachy, and this is like in the middle. Guys, we're on our next project already. Mimo, what, what are we doing? We start to remove the top of the mantle. Basically the foundation shifted, and so this whole top of the mantle shifted. Can you guys tell? So basically he's going to like pick it up. I don't know. Are you cutting the side right now? The sides now, yeah, exactly. Um, and so he's going to pick up the top of the mantle and just literally scoot it over. Back over, I guess. Whoa. Okay, fine. <laughs> Look at this piece. Wow. We start to ruin all this bad area. Mimo, are you getting rid of this whole thing? I think, yeah. Maybe. So I have to buy a new one? No, we can put it back. Oh, oh. put it back? To bring it. They, uh, yeah, I'm like, uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. That's to, to you just have to redo it, re-glue it. Yeah, I may have redo it. It may look nice <sighs> without one. I like it, but then I'm also like, if they're... Because I also wanted like a mantle that kind of came off the, the wall a little bit more so I can put stuff on it. 
Go for your pairs to just look online real quick and see what you can find and how fast it yeah, can Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mimo's saying that now we have to take the bottom off, like the legs off, because it needs to be repaired back there. Mm -hmm. right. All of these, yeah. So, I'm like, do I just buy a new one? Mm -hmm. A whole new one or no, no, no. keep that one? You like this one? Yeah. Let me do a quick Google search. Yeah, okay, this one is crooked for sure. Okay, I need to move it. No, okay, I need to move this one. But I need to bring one size pairs. That's why she may have to hold something no, like that. Mimo can fix anything and everything. And Ryan showed up as a farmer. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Sophie! But you can't have any chocolate. Ryan got this um, cowboy hat at a yeah, like on gift Street. store, yeah, on Sixth Street recently, and it actually looks really good on him and looks good on me. So it's our hat now. <laughs> but this is his outfit of the day. Where'd you get the Carhartt overalls? Like on Carhartt? Yeah, they're like used from the Carhartt website. And I mean, they're cool. White tail, something, lock neck. I got my farming shoes on. What if they actually think you're like just an a cowboy, a Texan cowboy, and this is like your look. Because this is like the first time we're gonna be meeting a lot of our neighbors. <laughs> Not our neighbors, but our. What do you mean? Like, like some like, straw or something in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Howdy. I brought normal clothes just in case. I thought you were gonna wear like a mask or anything you said. Well, I w that's why I asked you if you left already, because I forgot we had that whole Halloween um, bag from last year. I could have worn like a wig or something. Ryan got your Roko for dinner. I'm so freaking excited. It's like sushi hand rolls and I'm starving. So let's go eat. We got two giant bags of candy, chocolate and the sour stuff. His friend got these at Sam's Club and it was a lot cheaper. I think it was like 20 per bag. Right? So I think I'm gonna just do like half and half. I just have this like random bowl I got from the house. First call of the day. That would pass me up candy at least. I was a loser and I think I literally went trick or treating my freshman year of college. I loved it. Look how delicious. Ryan's literally taking all the Reese's out so he can have them. It's bad for kids. <laughs> That is his number one kryptonite, would you say? <laughs> yeah, sure. The opposite. It is time. Ew. Ew. Does it feel gross? Ew. Ew. Nice. How many are you doing yours, huh? <laughs> Oh my god, it smells so bad. It smells it's so fucking heavy. There's a pumpkin. <laughs> it's the same that waves that the pumpkin was when it wasn't run. Want a different trash bag? Ew! <laughs> 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 Want the trash bag? Yeah. We're never doing that again. Never. Carving pumpkins? Ew. I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, trick or treater. No! Come on, buddy! Fuck! What are we gonna do, Ryan? Uh, we literally go grab the fucking candy. <laughs> you can't be so desperate. You can't just hang out here, Ryan. We're gonna hang out over here. <laughs> <laughs> Close the door. Close the door. I don't want to be desperate. getting ready to go to my friend's murder mystery party. We were actually supposed to do it on Halloween weekend, but her and her boyfriend got sick, so we um, all just like postponed it to this weekend. I'm doing a little of a lip, and I wanted to talk to you guys because today is a big day. Well, tomorrow's gonna be a big day, right, right? Mm -hmm. But today's a very sentimental day because tomorrow, take it away. No, tonight's our last night in our apartment. You're like the, you're like the very long, what's it called? Fairly on, 
parents. parents thing where it doesn't show the... Was it Fairly Odd Parents? I feel like a couple of cartoons Tom said and that. Jerry. Tom and Jerry. No, like that other one. I can't think of it. It's our last night in our apartment, at least sleeping there. And it's the night before we move into this house. It's Christmas Eve. It's literally Christmas Eve. It doesn't feel real. It's so empty in here though, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Also echoes a lot, I can't wait to have furniture and be like not echoing. Yes, Ryan's super excited about his office. He already bought a rug, he bought a new Big Mac. I don't think I showed that right. Whole, we can do... Whole hamburgers from my room. Whole hamburger? And Big Mac. Oh. <laughs> Love that too. Anyways, he's really excited, so we'll have to do like a full reveal for his office. Um, he said his closet's gonna hold all of his call stuff. Which I, for one, am very excited about because, well, like, how many freaking golf bags do you even have? Um, I have three golf bags, one travel bag, and then I have like 12 putters or something. So, why? But whatever. No, I'm talking about the whole house echoing now. Like, I hear it's echoey, but we're gonna have, yeah, like a couch and. Yeah, I'm excited to finally get all our furniture in here and finally have somewhere to sit because this whole time we've been sitting on um, like lawn chairs <laughs> that we brought over to the house like the first day and I mean like they're fine but sometimes you just want to like lay down, you know what I mean? So I'm very excited about putting our couch in here but we're also kind of nervous because we did like a rough measurement and too big. like yeah, we think our couch is going to be too big which when we measured it, we were like there's no way our couch is this big. So we're nervous about that. Also another update is that today my dream mirror was supposed to get delivered, which it did get delivered. And then he like said he would unbox it for me. I guess they like don't do that, but it's a good thing he freaking did because it was broken. Like the mirror was cracked at the top. It was like the smallest crack, but I spent a lot of money on this mirror and I'm not taking a broken mirror. Um, yeah. So anyways. Well, it's broken right in the living room. Well, yeah, the bottom that, corner bed on sale. <laughs> yeah, we did get them on sale. But like this one's a CB2 one. We got that one at like Home Goods or something. And I was like, I'll just get a discount because it's broken. But like this one, it's a CB2 mirror. I'm spending a lot of money on it and I want it to be like really, you know, pristine and new, obviously. Anyway, so I had to like message the customer service and they're like, okay, well, once the like warehouse updates that it was broken, then we can like see about getting you, sending you another one. I was like, Hurry! Just go to the store, talk to him. Talk to him. Honestly, I think I could probably pick it up in store because I did pay for delivery and it was another Just added fee. Car, though, isn't it? That's true, yeah. Anyway, so any other updates that you can think of? I mean, mm -hmm. Mimo and Miss Brenda left yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. And we cannot thank Mimo enough. Mm -hmm. Like, he <laughs> pretty much did the whole house except for the floors, but he did the baseboard, so, like, yeah. you know. Half of the floors. There's a little bit of work left, but there's definitely like a lot more things we can do. But I have to remind myself to like slow down. Now that the floors are done, that's like the that was our priority because then you know we would be able to paint. like put furniture in. Yeah, the paint. So the paint's done. The floors are done. Baseboards are done. So that was definitely our priority. Next priority is gonna be these cabinets because I just hate that they're gray now that everything like else them. is done. I know Ryan likes them, but even the what about the bottom ones staying gray. No. Down here? No. Why? No. I'm still trying to find my paint though. A lot of people on my um, Instagram stories are telling me to go to Sherwin-Williams and I know that's like a standalone store so I have to like make a trip out there. But I just didn't really love the samples I got from Home Depot. Mm. So. Did you show the empty house store in the blog? Yeah. Well, before renovations. Not going to show one last time? Do you guys want to see it? <laughs> I guess we can. Can run through it really quick. We're supposed to leave for right, this well, murder mystery. Right yeah, comment below right now. <laughs> um, we have to leave for this murder mystery party, but let's do it quickly. Little breakfast nook. I'm so excited about this, but I want to get like all of our furniture in and kind of see what we need and probably order it during Black Friday. We definitely need a breakfast nook table. Back here is the pantry and laundry room. Mimo took off that door and honestly, it's kind of nice because it's just like more open, but I obviously want to finish the tile there. Need to pick out that, get that done. I want to do a butler's pantry here. And we still need to buy a washer and dryer, which we should definitely get that done this weekend because if we're going to live here. It's not going to be fun without washer and dryer. So here's the kitchen and then we're going into the living room. My 
special chair that I've been sitting on for the last two weeks. This is what it looks like. The floors look so freaking good. I'm so happy we chose this color and this fan really like brings it all in together. And Mimo fixed this fireplace. I'll try to put a before and after picture right here, but basically the entire top part was shifted over because there was some foundation issues and it's on straight now and it's beautiful. I really like it. Like I liked it at first, but now I'm like in love with the fireplace. Coming over here, we have the stairs. We have our dining room, which I don't know. We'll probably get a dining room table like the last thing we do. I'm not like stressing about it. And then the stairs, we still need to stain the little end caps. And then I need to find a guy to like, just, I don't know, cover this up. We took off the molding, but you can. Just put a piece of wood on it, right? Okay, why haven't you done it then? Because you don't know what you want. I want, I literally just want something simple. Let's it out. Babe, I showed you so many pictures. Mimo was gonna do it, but he didn't have enough time, but I just like literally want something flat and just like a blank wall. Oh, thank you for turning on the lights. So we're gonna go up here and Mimo put on this sconce over here because it was pretty outdated, the one that was on here already. Look at Sophie's new bed. It's so cute and she like, immediately fell in love with it. I just got it from Amazon. <laughs> um, here's the loft. The recess lighting looks so good everywhere and you can change the lights. Ooh, do you wanna show them that? Cause I forgot to show them. Not the music part? Not the music, but just like the app. No, go on the this actual app. Home, yeah, you that's can do it. it on here too. This is the den. The den, the loft you mean? Yeah. Well, it's called den on here, but color. What do you guys want? Red. Oh, yeah. red. So cool. So vibey. I and love it. There's lights like this too. But yeah. This is candlelight. You can mess it. And then you can like dim them too, which is nice. But basically we can only do it from our phone because we didn't add dimmers onto the switches. But like whatever, because we're always with our phone. So it should be fine. Going into my office, we have another one of those fans. And like, it's a fan with a light fixture in it. So it's really nice because the fan is like hidden. So whenever I film content, like an ugly fan won't be like on top of my head, which is awesome. And then I put four lights in here, four recess lights. And the mirror would have been there, but RIP to the broken mirror and whoever broke it. Not wishing bad luck, but you know. <laughs> And then this is Ryan's office. He just wanted one little light. Now I'm kind of regretting it, to be honest. Yeah. It's like they're right over my head on the Zoom calls. You can always get like a lamp. I told him he needs to get a mini uh, ring light mm -hmm. to put on his big yeah, light. Uh, you don't want the dresser up there, probably. Like yeah, dresser. I don't want it. Yeah. Have at it. And then maybe a lamp in that corner or something. Yeah. I'm gonna and just then dim this. He wants to put his like putters on the wall and then put his golf bags in here. It's gonna be a man cave and then he also has his Georgia diploma that he wants to hang up. And a bunch of stuff that she said was ugly. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna put up still. <laughs> he found a bunch of random prints. I mean, yeah, they mean something, but they're just like, d don't look um, like all lined. I don't know. They're just like, don't go together. Look at this space. I'm really excited about this spot. I don't really know exactly what we're gonna put in here, but we're definitely gonna do like two accent chairs, a TV. Coffee table. The mover said they would mount our TVs, so. LaCroix fridge. <laughs> yeah, that would be Ryan's dream, which I wouldn't be mad about. The LaCroix before that. Fan. Oh yeah, this is a new fan. We got on Amazon. It's beautiful. It's a pain in the ass to put together. And put up there. <laughs> in one of my other vlogs, I can't remember if it was this one or the other one, but I did stain one of the rods and the stain was too orange and I didn't really like it. So we're just gonna put that rod in Ryan's closet. But I really wanna stain the wood rods before we put it up and we didn't get to it. So we're gonna have to do that this weekend because I want to put in the clothes like right away, you know? It's time to go to the murder mystery party. So I gotta say bye to you guys, but I'll see you guys in the moving vlog. I'm so excited for it all. And if you guys want more real time updates, follow my Instagram and my TikTok. So underscore gnarly without the G and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.